morning fellas ben back again on another one long time since i have uh, made a video i'm very sorry for that um was held up with getting this bike ready making it a monster <laughs> and it sure has transformed into something which uh, i honestly can't control now um, at least on the roads i have to figure out the sag uh, for the roads but as far as off road is concerned this is exactly where i wanted it to be this is spot on um, in terms of the off road setup that this is now uh, does 90 kilometers per hour 90 to 100 kilometers per hour on uh, trails comfortably comfortably without breaking a sweat and uh, that's for me but if somebody were uh, to know how to push this um, better they would easily be able to um, but the th thing is um, this has also become a bit volatile on roads with the knobby tires both in the front and the rear and uh, a completely redone suspension on the front and the rear so i'm still figuring out sag i will definitely get back to you on uh, sag and sag related uh, aspects again sorry to keep you waiting this machine um, i'm going to be giving it to a lot of test riders they're going to be testing it and they're going to be giving me feedback and um, hopefully i'll be able to make a video of all of those um bits as well experiences of uh, other riders experienced riders riding this machine and comparing it to a regular himalayan what are the differences we will definitely make videos on that as well so that's coming your way the entire modded motorcycle is coming your way and but for today uh this interesting contraption here very very interesting extremely useful if you were to ask me um yeah so uh what is this this is uh, a brake snake that's what they call this uh in the west i'm totally new to this i haven't uh, used this before this is the first time i'm using it and uh, why did i go in for this for all you fellows out there who have had a problem with their brake lever bending that is you have a crash and the brake lever starts bending it starts snapping uh, or you do a lot of bush riding and twigs and bush get caught up here and they kind of uh, uh, you know uh, kind of, in a way they kind of bend the lever or um, you know there's a lot that could go wrong with um, this angle it's because it's too soft a steel and it is at an angle so um, uh, anything that gets uh, caught up in here in this gap has a very high possibility uh, to damage this because it's too long a lever and too soft a material um and i have had that happen to me in 2018 my uh, crash um, sort of i mean it, it was uh, it was a very bad crash and i saw uh, the brake lever bend like that i don't remember why in spite of running a crash guard that happened but yeah maybe this caught something on the road and it bent so uh, one is for that two is for uh, the uh, head to not become all warped and um, snap three Uh, uh also for this new um extender that i'm using over here i i want it to be safe on the bike i want it to be there on the bike uh i do not want a bush or a twig or a, a piece of rock a small rock hitting this and uh, um this snapping off uh, the motorcycle i don't want this to be um uh, detached from the bike so i so just to be doubly triply sure i got myself a brake snake i will attach a picture of how this looks um i just went ahead and i uh, installed it on the motorcycle um i will definitely attach a link of uh, videos where Uh, which i saw to be able to uh, do this very easily it's a piece of cake uh, what you see here is a copper end on this end you have a copper head quite wide so it you have to just shove it into a hole or something and that will this by the way this brake snake will work only on an extender so if any of you guys have gotten this kind of an extender this will work only on extender on an extender because this copper head I don't know if the camera can capture it. There's a there's a head, there's a metal uh, cylinder that is uh, welded onto this wire, and that has to lock in place in a hole, uh, some kind of a hole, um, which the stock brake footrest doesn't provide. So this is specifically for uh, an extender or something like uh, something that looks like this. So anyways anyway so a head that that's caught up in that loop in that in that hole and from there a wire 
looping around the crash guard and if you guys can see this fellow over here that's an aluminium um, more like a crush washer types so it holds it, it's like that and it has two wires running in and all you need to do is just crush it with your cutting plier so I've crushed it and that those are the crush marks anyway so uh, <laughs> a bit of a um, too tight a space for me to show you what's going on but any which ways you get the idea or I will share uh, some pictures of how it is crushed and uh, so you guys can do this as well so for all the fellows who have gotten this brake extender it's fantastic uh, there's a bit of a customization going on in there the bottom plate the steel plate that comes along with this brake, brake extender is a little too small for the um, Himalayans uh, uh, footrest or the brake lever rest so I customized it, I made a, a slightly bigger um, um, bottom plate, if you guys can see. So a slightly bigger bottom rest and that did it for me. That was the end of uh, all my worries. So um, yeah, the brake extender and the brake snake. Now I do not have to worry about this snapping off the motorcycle, this is definitely going to be there. That's about it. A quick video. A lot more coming your way. I will be a lot more consistent from now. I'm very sorry about the um, um, delay. And yeah, if this helped, it helped. We'll catch up on the next one. Until then, this is Ben signing out for now. Ciao.